some South Carolina party leaders are concerned about how an open choice to vote could impact future state elections. Our Caitlin Ashbaugh breaks down the impact of crossover voting on the Palmetto State and the recent response from Low Country members. South Carolina's political parties are arguing a hot topic on the table. A growing concern if crossover voting is a detrimental factor in primary election results. Isaac Kramer with Charleston County Elections says it's hard to track because of current state law, which doesn't corral voters into one identifying party. If you want to vote in one party's primary, that doesn't mean you're now identified as that party. Um, and that's kind of a lot of debate has gone through that. The South Carolina Republican Party first shared their concerns about crossover participation at the polls on Monday. A statement from Chair Drew McKissick claiming, quote, election integrity is at risk. If you're trying to win the Republican primary with Democrat voters, you're less likely to win the general election. Uh, we should let Republicans choose who our nominee is. Along with considering the nominees on the ballot, voters in this year's Republican primary will also answer three questions. The first one aligns with the party's attempts to close primary voting. The South Carolina Democratic Party denied the influence of votes in this upcoming election. SCDP Chair Crystal Spain and Low Country members say they don't want open party voting to change, calling it integral to creating a diverse political system. The impact that cross party voting is going to have this election uh, tomorrow is going to be very minimal. It hasn't happened yet. I'm not going to say that, say that it hasn't. It's not happened. With the open vote system, Charleston County Elections says you can vote in whichever you prefer, but you can only vote once. When voters have an ability to make the choice of what prior party they want to vote in, that's their uh, duty. They can do that. Really what you're saying is I want to vote in this primary because I believe that my vote will have the most impact. Reporting in Charleston, Caitlin Ashbaugh, Live 5 News.